Afternoon guys, I thought I'd just jump on quick and do a little explanation of what happened at SCL, why I pulled out. Um, start with, I'm absolutely fine now, thank you for all the messages, you've all been so supportive, it's, it's just so nice to see. Um, so I thought I'd just do a little video just to say, you know, what happened and why I did come out of the comp in the end. Um, so, starting off we had 300 kilo deadlift for reps in the suits, um, 130 log for reps, we had Viking walk, which was really cool to see, really enjoyed that event, um, bag toss, and then we finished with the stones. So, on paper, quite a good event for me, the log's decent weight for me as well, I was pretty confident of that, um, and thought, yeah, you know, like, I could probably, I was backing myself to win. It would be me, David, or Jack, in my opinion, just on paper. Um, the guys that turned up, it would have been a really cool comp. Um, so first off, like, it, we were coming off the back of, so England's was two or three weeks before the show I won. Um, I put up quite a big shift in there, and I think it took more out of me than I realised. Um, following that comp, I sort of had a week off, not a week off by any means, but a week of less structured training. So I was still doing my sessions and it was it was still feeling good. Log especially at the minute has been flying. Um, and I had a deadlift session on Saturday where, you know, I could sort of go a bit off plan. Um, you know, I wasn't supposed to, but I had an RP8 single, so pulled 400 kilos for an absolute grinder. But, well, you know, it's not a rep, but... Anyway, again, just, just laying the sort of foundations of what I think went wrong. Two weeks go past, um, training's been all right. It's been, it's been absolutely fine. Again, haven't been prepping for this show specifically because uh, it qualified you for Strongman Champion League England show, which clashes, unfortunately, with, S, uh, with OSG Europe's. So this comp for me, it was always going to be a fun comp. It was never, you know, I can't do the comp it qualifies you for anyway. So it, I was just purely going in for... A run out, go see the guys, you know, see how I'm holding up. And I soon found out the answer. So I was warming up for deadlifts. Uh, I normally, it was 300 for uh, 300 for reps in the suit. I normally warm up to about 200, 220 raw and then put the suit on. Um, I don't like going in flat without doing some raw pulls. So warming up, we had loads of time to warm up. So it was all absolutely fine. No, nothing there. But I mean, from the second I pulled, started with the bar and I, I pulled 60 and that felt off. It felt very spinal, it felt like I wasn't getting much leg drive and, it, and that theme just continued for the rest of the day. Worked up to about, I think we did 180 raw um, and then I went off with Cal and M to get the suit on and everything. Came back and there was about 260 on the bar. Um, so, you know, I don't mind taking big jumps in the suit. So I, I pulled 260 in the suit. It was pretty quick, but again, like the, the suit sort of enhances the fact that if you're not getting leg drive, like it was just, honestly, I could just feel it in my back. The pull felt, it just didn't feel right. Like that's all I can try. Anyone that sort of knows anything about deadlift will know what I'm talking about. And that like, if you're slightly off, you could just, you just know. Um, and I just couldn't get leg drive into this fucking deadlift. <laughs> so so I, I, I sort of muscled it and... I did a load of lower back stretch and a load of hip stretching just before I was going, but didn't seem to move it. I sort of just kept my head down and um, as, I, as I sort of do and, and cracked on. Because again, 300 for reps at this level of show, it's not that heavy. I know it sounds mental, but in the suits and everything, like I knew it was going to be a rep fest. Um, so anyway, went out. I put my, I was sixth out, so I was actually out quite near the end, which was quite nice again. Um, so I sort of had the number to beat. Someone had already done 10, so I was aiming for 11. Um, so I was the sixth pairing, fifth pairing go out, and I put my suit on, um, get strapped in, because I'm sort of, I'm sort of a sort of nervous prepper, so I like to get ready a bit ahead of time. Um, so, you know, I'm there with my suit on in the heat, the belt's on as well, um, and sort of I'm watching the fifth pair, so it's probably been a minute till I go out to, to the to the stage and then you leave the athlete area and then you hit the sun and it's it's just vastly different. It's so hot. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I'm never going to complain about sunshine, but it was it was quite hot just out in this like tarmac arena. I go out to the platform, I'm getting ready. And then, you know, the, the spotters and the loaders notice a bit of blood on the platform from the last guy. 
so they you know they spent some time cleaning that it must it's probably like one or two minutes it doesn't sound like much but all this time I'm in the suit I'm in the heat I've had my salts and everything I'm, I'm sort of ready and, and we're just getting the platform it, it, no, nothing on the loaders or anything like that because you know it had to be done there was blood on the platform no one wants to lift in someone's blood um then I get strapped into the bar and you can kind of see this in the video um I'll post it up it's it's um I'll post it up separate but I sort of get strapped in and in the suit it's quite a horrible process being like knelt down when you're like you've got the suit tight and the, and the guy I'm against no discredit to him or anything like perfectly fine to do so but took a while getting set up so I was sort of ready to pull um and at this point like you know I, I I'd been in the suit for maybe three or four minutes and if you've ever worn a deadlift suit you don't want to wear them for that long at all um Cut to the deadlifts, the first, pulled the first rep and everyone I've spoken to said it looked slow for me. You know, I got 320 for eight with more in the tank three weeks ago and then I pulled I pulled 10 in, in total. Um, but just, again, you just I just knew it was off. Um, it just felt like I was using my back too much and pulling the weight and not pushing off the floor of my legs. Um, and yeah, so every rep felt bad. Um, I still muscled out 10, which again is like, it's awesome to be able to do that. I, I know I, I said going in, like I'd be able to do 15. So yeah, sort of the, the result I expected. And to make things worse, I, as I pull the first rep, my nose starts bleeding. I don't know why I'm guessing the pressure from the suit again. Um, and by the time I pull the 10th one, there was just blood like pouring out of my face. It's not very nice. Um, Mr. Moss, Mr. Phil Moss saw this from the start and was like, I'm going to go stand behind Paddy. And um, it, it was the right call in the end. I had loads of time, but like I say, by, by the time I pulled my temp, I'd been in the suit for, we're talking four or five minutes at this point. I go to pull 11 and my feet just come out from under me and then I sort of wake up with a load of people around me. So not the nicest experience, but it's part of the game. I'm not injured. My The, the reason I pulled out is because my back was just in pieces after that. I took the suit off. I went straight to the physio tent. There was a lovely um, lady doing physio. I, I can't remember your name. I'm sorry, but she sort of said, look, your back is really badly strained. At this point, everyone else was warming up for the log. And I sort of just thought, it's not an important comp for me. If I carry on, I might get a few reps on the log. I won't be able to pick up stones. And I'm just going to be... And the Viking walk's going to probably crockle me. So for an event... You know, if it was the if it was the final of World's Strongest Man, I'd have probably carried on. But for this, like, my body's just giving me all the signs I need rest. Um, you've got to listen to your body, and then they like just, uh, you know, I, I I'm sorry to all the guys that came to support me as well. Like that's worth saying. I never I never pull out comps. Like it's the first time I've ever pulled out a comp, so it is a real shame. But it's just the right call as an athlete. Any any other athletes and coaches are going to understand. Like you've just got to got to be sensible. If I'd have carried on, the risk of injury would have been so high. Um, just just the way my body was holding up, it just needs a rest. So for me now, I've got three, four, five days off. Um, yeah, I might do the odd pump session, but just taking it super chill, um, walking my boys, just chilling, um, and then I will be back fighting fit. Again, I'm not injured. Nothing is wrong with me. I'm going to get my blood pressure tested as well just to make sure everything's okay there. I think, like I say, it was just the suit and the heat, but there we go. That's, that's sort of what happened. It was... Also, an incredible show again. Like, I just think Unbreakable Promotions, AD, these guys are doing just such good work for the sport. Like, the promoters really, really, really look after you. Um, everyone's really friendly. The loaders are great. The whole team's great. The crowds are brilliant. So, keep doing what you're doing. Um, thank you all if you've made it this far. <laughs> um, but yeah, just thought I'd jump on and, and, and give you all my version of the story because you'll hear of some warped stuff online which isn't the case i didn't pull out because i had a nosebleed <laughs> um yeah stay safe everyone keep training god's a grip grip ring buy one patty 10 um and yeah love you lots all the best guys